Hello and welcome to our Saturday. I've been up for about an hour and a half. It's coffee o'clock. Izzy's still fast asleep and I am off upstairs now with my coffee to finish editing yesterday's vlog. Oh, and I've been spending time this morning researching cameras. Oh, that's just every time. They do a tiny little trickle, it doesn't do it. I am going to upgrade this. This is a Sony and I'm so worried about getting a more expensive camera but the audio isn't as good as this because I think the audio is just freakishly good on this very budget camera because this is only about a £300 camera but I've been using it for four years. I've done about 700 vlogs on it and honestly it's starting to fall apart. Bits are falling off it, bits of the plastic are crunching off and it's only a matter of time before I'm going to wake up one morning, open the camera and it's just not going to work. Work, so I definitely need to have its replacement lined up before that happens otherwise I'll be vlogging on the GoPro which is a little bit temperamental again. Somebody's looking very dapper where are you off to young lady? I'm going to meet my friend. Oh that's nice. Bye. See you later. Front door's that way. The masks. Oh yeah don't forget the masks. Yeah. Bye. I am being very lazy for my lunch today and I'm going for tinned things. I am going for spelt because I can't be bothered to cook rice, how lazy is that? And a smoky three bean chilli to go on top. It's a quarter to two and I'm starving and I haven't got the vlog up yet but I have been working on it. I've been spending ages on it actually. It was a bit of a boring day yesterday. That's the thing when you're a vlogger and you have a really boring day you feel kind of as if you've been inadequate but if you're not a vlogger it doesn't matter if you have a boring day it means you get stuff done you know and it's quite good but you feel kind of bad about it when you're a vlogger so I was just trying to make that video that little extra bit engaging with editing and I don't know if it worked or not but it was a good learning exercise for me so I don't think it was time wasted I'm going to cook now let me just amend that I'm going to heat things up now the spelt's in the microwave and the chilli is on the stove it's tasty time it's almost nice, almost. I'm not a fan of the sweet taste and the slight vinegary taste that you tend to have in tinned food. But other than that, you know, that's me being super, super picky. It's quite nice, it's perfectly acceptable. I'll give it a seven out of 10. I mean, for convenience, it's brilliant, isn't it? Because I've just saved 45 minutes and I have no washing up to do to speak of, really. I finally finished my upload quarter past three. <laughs> I'm spending too long on things, but I'm enjoying it. I've just been sitting here adding to a Word document that I've got, which is my merch ideas. It's Imo and Izzy's, well, Imo's fantasy merch ideas for the future. I only want to do useful things that are related to the themes that come up in my videos, rather than keyrings, t-shirts, etc. I might, I might do keyrings and t-shirts, but only if they are for some sort of practical use or particularly funny or witty, but I don't want to just have the name or the logo, that kind of thing. Last night, I decided to put the paper chains up and then I got that far and then change my mind. Quick puzzle update. Puzzle is looking like that. The next thing on today's list is to bleed the radiators because some of them are cold at the top and hot at the bottom which is not good and I can't remember where I've put my radiator key but I've got a few ideas. Now in my old place I always used to leave the radiator key by the worst bleeder of radiators which was the one in the loft. I used to sleep in the loft in my old place so I'm wondering if I followed the trend and left it by the one in my bedroom. The answer is no, I haven't. This is my random drawer full of things that just need to be relocated. I've even got Lego men, torch, Christmas bells. I told you it was random. This is, this is for fixing a lilo, a punctured lilo. There's even a rattle in there, like one of those... Yeah, mm -mm. No radiator key, though. I must sort this drawer out. Mm. Izzy's decided she's dyeing her hair today. She's gone out to buy semi-permanent hair dye, not permanent. I don't think it's going to take because her hair's too dark. I'm guessing the radiator key is in the toolbox, which would be very sensible. I wouldn't have left it in the resources tray, would I? I wouldn't have thought I would. No. That tiny little screwdriver. I actually use that for something. Let's try the toolbox. You can buy them easily anyway. And very cheaply, like two for a pound and stuff. Hang on, let me just put the camera down to get this. Hmm, I don't see it on the top there. Now this is most mysterious. I distinctly remember putting it somewhere and thinking I'm going to leave it in this really obvious place. There's a radiator key. It's one of those things you just need to put your hand on, you know, and you don't really want to go rummaging for. I don't think it's going to be in here. I think it would have been in the top bit. 
Oh no, this is annoying. You better go out and buy one, you know. I don't think it's in there. It's official. The radiator keys, plural, have vanished without trace. Should I just go and buy one? They're only about a pound. I hate that, buying stuff when I know I've got it already, but I just can't find it. But how many hours do I want to spend ransacking my whole house today? <laughs> Izzy is back. You yes. right, darling? Had a nice time? Yes. What have you got in your hand? Uh -oh. I've got semi-permanent hair dye. And don't say uh-oh, you knew this was going to happen. <laughs> but if it's semi-permanent, it comes out in 12 to 15 washes. If I'm not mad about the colour, I can just wash it loads of time. I suppose so. <laughs> just like, oh, there you go again. Right, I'm going radiator key hunting. Probably somewhere like Happy Shopper. In those sort of pound displays where everything's a pound. You know what I mean. Let's go looking. I've got my mask with my wire in today, but actually it's not as cold because they were fogging up so much yesterday I couldn't see where I was going. Oh gosh, I've got the stickiest, ickiest alcohol stuff on my hands from the bottle. I haven't found a radiator key yet. <laughs> I'm in the cat food section at the moment for some reason. Uh... Oh, two for two pound. Look, I needed those the other day and I couldn't find them. That's good value. I uh, think of this as being a little bit more expensive. Look, 2 49 for Marmar. I'm sure normally you get a big one for that price. Still haven't found any radiator keys though. Oh, I'm so glad to be out, you know. You don't realise it creeps up on you, the cabin fever. Well, they didn't have them in there and the cobbler's is shut, so I'm going to try another shop. I've come to B&M. Look, this is what everyone's been on about. Especially Izzy. Pound. She's going to love me. I'm going to get mummy points for that. Oh, it's working now. This camera is being naughty again. So I've been buying stuff since I'm in B&M anyway. I've picked up quite a few items that I either needed or fancied. Um, I haven't found a radiator key yet, but they're bound to have one in here, aren't they? Oh, bird seed. We have last time. The birds are scoffing the bird seed extra fast now. Oh, the weather's gone a bit cold. They seem to have different types every time I come in and I don't know what to have then. It was down here on this lower shelf. Only a pound for all that. I get through it, mind. What about these things? Giant pine cone bird tree. Oh, it's actual pine cone. Oh, cool. Hmm, I wonder if they'd like that. Well, I could get one and see. I mean, I think my fence is so rotten it'd fall down if I tie that onto that bracket, to be honest. <laughs> That's 129, look. I can't say this appeals to me as a human, but presumably the birds would like that. Hmm, I'm gonna get a pine cone. Because why not? I'm feeling generous. I'm going soft in the old age. That's what it is. It's this solitude. My only friends are the birds. It's official. I'm going mad. I'm having a Saturday spending spree. Look, I'm getting an actual haul. I'm gonna to have to get that out and show it to you when I get back. And I still haven't found the radiator key section. Already got a full basket. Oh, now this looks promising. I can't find a radiator key. I'm gonna to have to go in a third shop. This is not good. Ah, I got one of those trolleys that, yeah, does that. Oh, well, never mind. I'm sure it'll be fun and stimulating for me. Oh, look at that pop. Mm. So it is now getting dark and I have two great big bulging shopping bags full of probably not very healthy food. And I still haven't got a radiator key and I'm about to go into a third shop where hopefully I shall resist the lure of exciting looking items. I've come into another shop and look, it's all lovely with all Christmassy decorations and stuff. Oh, I know what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna end up buying more tree chocolates because I started to get tempted in the last place, but I couldn't find any that I thought were good value. Focusimo, radiator key. Focus, radiator key. Radiator key. You've come in for a, for a, a, a <clears throat> radiator key. No, definitely not Skittles or a, a, mm, radiator key. Oh, look, it's Santa radiator key. That happened. Oops. Right, we've come to a very boring section, so it's bound to have radiator keys in it. Jubilee clips. See, I knew what those were called. But have they got radiator keys? I'm queuing up to pay. I can't find the radiator keys. I'm going to have to ask at the till. All I've got is two chocolate Santas. I've been directed, it's at the end of one of the aisles at the end, in the plumbing section. I didn't notice there was a plumbing section, how dull am I? Ooh, 
Ooh, that's got to be a plumbing section. Radiator keys. Oh, 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 it's there. Look. A pound. Yay! I'm back from my what turned into a massive shopping spree. I went out for a radiator key. I've come back with two bulging bags for the shopping. And look what's happened. Can you see? I don't know if it's coming out on the camera. I have got a line <laughs> across my nose and both cheeks from the wire in my mask but my glasses did not steam up so i'd say that's a result and worth the compromise look at it i only went out for a radiator key anyway let's see what i've got command strips because i want to have a go at putting my paper chains up with those our pro is only one pound in bnm i could only carry one so that's all i got ginger beer three for a pound ah oh, the radiator key two Boxes of OXO cubes for £2 from the Happy Shopper. Kinder Santas. Look, they've got little old walls. I'm going to thread them and put them on the Christmas tree like baubles. Biscoff spread on the recommendation of many viewers. Peaches in strawberry jelly for Izzy's lunch boxes. Lurpak spreadable. Cooked ham for Izzy's sandwiches. Sticky notes, £1.50. I like the big page ones with the lines so I can put them in my diary, write my to-do list, then take it off and then rewrite it neatly in the order with times. I know, I am that person. Uh, a party bag of pretzels. Izzy can't get enough pretzels. Caramel wafer biscuits for Izzy's lunchbox. Bread for Izzy's lunchbox sandwiches. A super suet filled pine cone bird treat. And that caused some fun and games at the checkout. Look, somebody's ripped the barcode off. So yeah, chaos ensued. Two boxes of tissues. Those were 60 pence each. That was a pound for a six pack of scampi fries and bacon fries. Lastly of all, for one pound, that great big bag of bird seed. And I've also bought a little present for Isabel which I have hidden a stocking filler. Now, I've got a job to do. Oh, I'm so rubbish at this kind of thing. Oh, sh okay, liquid just came out. So that one did not need doing then. I think we can conclude. That was not a job well done. I should probably get a tissue, shouldn't I? In case there are drips. I'm filming at this angle because her ladyship's room is a right mess. Okay, that really needed doing. <laughs> okay, good. Well, that should warm up a bit better. I'm sure mine needs doing because it's always distinctly colder in here, even with the window shut. It's a lot. Wow. <laughs> surprised me how much that was actually ah, okay that one didn't need doing that's all of them done I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to top the pressure up oh <laughs> yes my theory was correct it's supposed to be on one and a half cold apparently and it's on uh, it's in the red right let's sort that out then <laughs> you know I said I left the key somewhere really obvious but it was so obvious I couldn't find it. I was just thinking to myself, I know, I'll leave it in here. That'll be really obvious. And look what I obviously, I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, Imogen, you plonker. <sighs> Going up. I wish I could film this now, but I need both hands. I shall just do commentary. The needle is going up, it's just past one. Still going up. <laughs> world's most boring vlog shot ever and we're there Ta -da! right let's pop the heating on i'm gonna put it in the cutlery drawer like just remind me next autumn new <laughs> i was just using these ikea hook thingies to put on the santas I hope that's gonna be strong enough. I'm gonna put them on the tree. Izzy doesn't know I've got them. So I'm just gonna put them on and see if she notices them. I'll we'll see how observant she is. I don't know if children are as observant these days because they look at their phones all the time instead of real things. But that said, she does tend to know a lot of stuff. Right, there, that's pretty prominent, isn't it? I do actually want her to see them because I want to be within earshot when she does because I think there'll be a squeal of delight. <laughs> It'll be quite fun actually to keep getting extra little treats and sticking them on while she's not looking. Maybe when she's out at college. Oh look, you can keep Frosty company. I'm gonna put all my shopping away now and then I'm gonna do what I keep forgetting to do, which is just have a break. Sit down for half an hour, have a cup of tea and a snack, maybe watch some videos or whatever, just totally chill out. 
and then carry on with whatever else I need to do. Because I think that was my problem yesterday, because I didn't structure it again. I just wrote a list. I don't know why I do it to myself. Because I end up getting in a stupor, which I did yesterday. So anyway, I'm going to take a break after that, and then I've got a parcel to open. Ooh. I found myself on the verge of tasting the Biscoff spread secretly while Izzy's in the bath. I should, I should really let her do it, shouldn't I? But... It's that time of the afternoon of low blood sugar, right? Open wide, see what you think. Mmm. Oh. oh, that is good. Yeah, that is surprisingly good. It's good on its own, but I can't imagine it would be good on other things. Because it tastes like Biscoff. Exactly like Biscoff biscuits. Mmm. -hmm. Well, I was asking for a carrier bag. What's happened to your hands? Oh I've my... done a murder! No, my friend, she says that you need to put a plastic bag over it so that I can take her word for it because she did it a lot apparently. You could probably take those gloves off before you get them on that Just lovely that. nightie. Oh, you have Just got it all over. Just a tiny bit. This is Isabel's charity shop nightie that she doesn't like. But I think that maybe needs to go straight in the wash. Oh. Can you please just get me a carrier bag? Oh, you look like a giraffe. Remember yeah, to um, not put it over your nose or mouth. I know. <laughs> I'm going to put this on better upstairs. No what? Pictures, Look, no I haven't had anything interesting to vlog about for days. <laughs> I'm making the most of this. But right now it's parcel time. Oh yeah. Now this is from somebody called Kate, who's a YouTuber as well. And her channel is called It Starts With A Step. And I'll just put a picture of that here. Because of the pandemic, she held off from editing some footage she filmed in Egypt when she visited earlier in the year, before all the pandemic and everything, but she recently edited them and uploaded them. And in one of the videos, they bought some scented oils. And then on their channel, they had a little giveaway competition and I entered it and I've won. So it's lovely oils but what I'll do is I will link her video in the description below the specific video so if you want to see the backstory of the oils being acquired you can do that and go and say hello to her it's very well taped up I don't think I've ever had a present from Egypt before are we ready? Oh, there's a card. Let's read the card first. Oh my goodness, there's loads of them. Wow. <laughs> it's a Christmas card. Oh, that's nice. To Imo and Izzy, congratulations on winning the giveaway. Hope all the oils arrived in one piece. Thank you for supporting me on my YouTube journey. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Love and best wishes, Kate. Oh gosh, we got frankincense. Well, that's very appropriate for Christmas, isn't it? Good for sinus and snoring. Excellent. Place a few drops into a cup of hot water and slowly inhale the vapour. Frankincense is made from three trees, mint, lavender and eucalyptus. I did not know that. Secret of the Desert, perfume for men and women, fermented in pyramids for 85 days and made from five flowers. Scent should change every 30 minutes. I remember that one from the video. Lotus Flower, perfume used by Queen Nefertiti. How do you pronounce that? Jojoba Royal? Jojoba Royal? That one anyway. Healing properties for skin. Marvellous. Thank you so much, Kate. Right, let's get into it. Gosh, it's really well wrapped up. I just opened the one so you can see what the bottle's like. Oh, wow, I can't smell that already, that's beautiful. The frankincense, I always think of the nativity when I hear a frankincense. I never really questioned what it actually was. Well, that's a lovely little bottle, isn't it? Just gonna smell. That, is, that smells absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Kate. I really appreciate those. I shall treasure them. I remembered about the mock duck. I haven't cooked it yet. Well, the mock abalone's the same thing. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do, Ugh. oh no, it's a noodle lunch. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna use these. I did have some the other day. They're delicious. I got loads of veg. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be a feast. It's 7.20. She's drying her hair with a hairdryer. I've got a space odyssey 
on, ready to watch some of it while we have our dinner. Probably do it in instalments. Dinner's looking like this. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Tell you what, let's put the lid back on. There. <laughs> That's looking quite nice. It smells quite nice too. And we got some noodles doing in there. And I'm not going to end the vlog until we've seen Izzy's hair. I've got a feeling it might even take. It looked like it was going to take, didn't it? She's coming down the stairs. Oh, wow. See, it's taken quite a while. Oh, my goodness. It's not fully dry yet, though. What do you think? I like it. Ooh. Oh, you're glad you've uh, done this little experiment? Yes, and because it's not permanent, I can go back to my former glory. <laughs> Your former glory, yes. <laughs> oh, there we are. First time as he's ever dyed her hair. Just have a little feel. I can smell it. What happened to that nighty? I took it off. Can you bring it down? We're going to soak it in a bowl. Yeah, okay. I've got the bowl ready, lined up. I'll try and get that dye out of it. Yeah, that came out all right, didn't it? I kind of expected it to be more Yeti jumper coloured. One of my subscribers calls it the Yeti jumper in the comments. That's why I put the Yeti reference in. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow and I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you would like to follow more of our story, do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.